This registered sex offender now facing a new charge of video voyeurism. Police arrested him over an incident at Riverside High School. Police say that man is in jail, accused of recording cell phone video of two students inside a school restroom. 25-year-old Jamal Collins was arrested last week. Police say the incident was last month. News 4 Jax reporter Jim Pickett is joining us live from the school. Jim, the first question our viewers are going to ask, how did this man gain access to the school? Well, it's still under investigation, but what we have learned from the police report is that he was actually with his mother, who was a volunteer with the dance team here at the school. As you'd mentioned, he's a registered sex offender, so many are asking why she would allow him to come here on campus. People waiting to pick up students at Riverside High School were very surprised to find out what happened on campus last month when police say this man, Jamal Collins, a registered sex offender, used his cell phone to record two students in a restroom stall in a compromising position after school hours. Do you think they should have told parents and, and people like you that something like this had happened? They should have let, them, let people know that as far as you shouldn't have been here in the first place. Here's what the police report says happened on September 9th. A male student and a female student both went into the boys' restroom after school hours. While they were in a bathroom stall, they saw an iPhone peering under the stall. According to court documents, both were exposed and yelled at Collins, who then, according to the report, ran out of the restroom. School security cameras caught him running out of the restroom and down the hall. Five days later, investigators talked to Nisha Butler, who is an instructor for Riverside High School's dance team. The report says she identified her son, Jamal Collins, as the suspect. She said he was on campus assisting with an after-school event. We talked to our crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, a former JSO officer, about this. Well, it's very odd, uh, and here's the reason why I say it's very odd, simply because a sex offender is allowed in a public school. How do you not know that? How do you not screen for a person um, that's coming to work or even to help out? Somebody had to know that this person was a sex offender, number one. And number two, uh, why is he in the men's restroom with a camera that's ready to videotape whatever he can see? Again, that uh, Collins was arrested last week. Uh, now, he did work for First Coast Leadership Foundation, and I tried to check with that firm, and I've called them to see if they knew that if he was a registered sexual offender. And just a short time ago, we did receive a statement from the school board about their investigation into this. Let me read you part of that statement. It says, while our review of this matter continues, we were appalled to learn that a volunteer apparently brought her son, now we know as a sex offender, to an after-school activity last month. Upon learning of Mr. Collins' background as a result of his arrest for the alleged incident, the volunteer who brought him to campus was disassociated from the school earlier this week. And again, I tried reaching out to his mother today as well, not been successful in contacting her. A uh, school board says, too, that they did not notify the entire uh, student body here of the incident of what happened here. They only notified the parents of the two students that were involved. As for Collins, I looked into his background, why he is a registered sex offender. Uh, apparently, he was charged with sexual assault back in 2018 in Leon County. He was out on, uh, well, he was on probation now at the time, still being held now at the Duval County Jail. We're live in Riverside, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.